All right, we are back with uh, more demon turf now tonight. Very cool, challenging new 3D platformer here on Series X. Uh, fantastic game, guys. Check it out. At least I'm enjoying it a lot so far. There are some bonus levels that are hard as hell that we've discovered. The game is a disaster. Oh, In Harmony, oh, the game I was showing you guys on the break. Yeah, that game. That game's great. It's so jank. It was a free game on Xbox One. Oh my god, I beat that game. Gosh, I probably streamed that like two years ago or something. Alright, let's go to continue game. You can see the art style of this game. Beautiful. Perfect for late night. Alright, so we can kind of take a look at our we've done so in the first world we got all the battery we beat all the levels and we got all the pieces of cake so I'm not gonna go for the speed run things um, we have the crow on our head we've done one of the photo hunts or whatever I don't know the mr. mint trials There's also arena challenges. I gotta get used to this, uh, this game again. Oh. Or we're we gonna check out the, uh, the second uh, set of levels. See how awesome this game looks. I want to go. Let me go try these uh, arena challenges just to see what. This is probably all about combat. Pig style. Oh, you get pieces of candy for this too. Get close to the spikes. Have that. Wave one of three. I don't even know what the time has to be here in order to get a good score. Oh, come on, piggy. What? What makes this one so evasive? Jeez, what the frig? Oh, they're exploding. Or something. Oh, there's all oh, these things are shooting out too. I didn't know that. this but these bonus levels are cool just to give you, you know some extra extra time into the game if you want in between going to the real worlds chance to earn some more candy I think, do the red things kill them too? I think they might. That one charged itself to death there. Keep an eye on these red balls. 
We're almost there. There we go. Did we do it? Maybe we just need to beat it to get the uh, the candy. Oh yeah. We just need to survive. There's probably an extra incentive to get like a good time, I'm sure. Or oh, just keep track of it. Right? You just need to beat them basically to get the candy. Okay. Well, we got 16 candy richer. Go to level world two, level one, which is this. The Arma de Geddon. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, complete contrast from the first world. This one's bright and vibrant. The other one was so dusty and red and oh crap! Oh, That's fine. We got a beach theme world. Awesome. We have baby ocean first. Look at the water graphics. Oh, such a contrast from the other world. I love it. Explore this area. This is what we're going to be looking at. All right, world one, uh, two, one. Let's see, uh, baby ocean. Ah, oh, look at this. the music <laughs> oh, these like it's like lo-fi like chill beats and music in this game all right let's see what this concoction is Get up here? Huh, I wonder. Wonder if I can. I smoke oh, shoot. I gotta get used to the controls again. <laughs> Only my second time playing, so I still gotta. That's a tough place to land. I feel like there is going to be something up there, though. Looks like we can get there from over there, though. It could be cake or something. I don't know. What is this? Huh. Let's go this way, maybe? Is that a new move up there? Looks like they're being taught a new move. Shoot. There we go. Okay. Hook shot swing. Oh, this again. Okay, it's just telling me. I already know. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I can swim. In here. Oh, okay. So there's definitely going to be a... Probably like a predominant water level at some point in this world. To utilize this thing again. Let's have a look. So I don't know where the cakes are going to be here. There's an island over there, let's go to that. Let's look over here first. Yo, Nico. <laughs> Wanna be my friend? That's not how it works. Friendships are serious business, so take it seriously. I got a talking frog as a pet. I have a crow on my head. Obviously I wanna be friends. Let's hang out sometime, Nico. Oh, she actually wants to be friends? Okay. I want to be friends with a frog. It's wearing glasses. It looks so sophisticated. Inside her wonderful home. Wait, was that cake? Oh, that was cake. Okay. So it was worth coming over here. Dun, 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 dun. Look how beautiful this I mean, goodness me. Really, really nice looking game. Oh, there's that. We gotta go up there and get a hook shot going though. Just wanna make sure there were no more pieces of cake around here. Oh, hang on. that hook shot going from here. Ah, it's tough to get the camera angle to get those shots from there. Nope. I have to go up the other way. Let's see. <laughs> there we go. And now we can do this. Oh <laughs> yeah, no problem, no problem. <laughs> I was gonna say because I went to go to your stream after I got off, and I realized you were already, you were already done streaming. <laughs> I got that jump. Oh, we'll get the jump. We'll get the jump here. We just got a uh, hook shot from here. Oh shoot! Didn't register the other one. We gotta time this right. There, it's a good skip there. I'm gonna land on this platform here and then go. 
There we are. We got a crabby situation. supposed to kill oh there's spikes right there sorry crab oh shoot they got this ground pound move I beat the crap out of them all right what else we got around here see there could be a piece of cake on like one of these platforms here for all I know Or I could have just gotten myself in the no man's land for no reason. I don't see anything. There we go. Get back up there. Hmm. Maybe there's something up there. Yes, there's one. All right. This game is too violent. Oh, <laughs> too violent for Twitch, right? Oh yeah, super violent. Ghost of Tsushima. Oh yeah, yeah. I've seen gameplay that one. That's only on PlayStation though, right? I think it's only uh, exclusive, unfortunately. So if I ever get a PS5, that'll certainly be a game I want to get. Um, or even a PS4 at this point, I don't know. I could even buy a cheaper PS4 right now. Just to play some of the PS4 games that I missed out on, you know. To start getting them going. Maybe I could get a PS4. I didn't think about that. Like, I want a PS5, but there's also a ton I want to play on PS4. That you know would be cheaper to get a system and you know and accessible to get one compared to trying to get a PS5. Um, where are we going now? Down here. I got one more piece of cake and then. The end of the level still. Oh, not these red rings again. <sighs> How do we rise up again? Oh, hey. Let's see what this is. Take me up. I know, it's like I have a Series X, so it's like uh, I have one next-gen console that's amazing. And I said PS4 games are a lot cheaper right now. Yeah, they're on sale. I get like Days Gone. I want to play Death Stranding really bad. Spider-Man. I mean, a whole bunch of stuff on there. Ghost of Tsushima would be amazing too. Freaking... God of War. <laughs> well, he's dead. And apparently I'm dead. I don't even know what killed me. What happened? How did I die? What? That was whack. <laughs> that was really whack. I don't even know how I died. I killed him. Put a uh, we don't need to get the cake again now, so that's good. We need to go through here again, though. Let's 
I think the new God of War would make me cry because it's uh, the story's really good. A few games have made me kind of, you know, emotional. I'm not gonna lie. There's been those games. It happens. Alan Wake was certainly one of those games, especially when I first played it. Oh my gosh, that game was like tugging on my heartstrings. I'm gonna put down a, uh, a checkpoint, I think, probably. Right here, if I can. There. I don't have to do that again. The Ghost of Tsushima would make me cry. Oh! That one's got a good story. Yeah, my girlfriend thinks that game's pretty cool. She, her brother, is, she's seen her brother play it a lot, and they say it's, it's really cool. Because they have a they have a PS4. I legit don't know how I died here, but poison shower. This handy shower gets rid of any poison on you. Wasn't aware I had poison on me. How do I even know if I have poison? Trying to see if there's anything else to collect around here. Like we're going in the ship. Because there's still one more piece of cake that we need. going it's gorgeous and solid gameplay yeah I mean the the graphics look amazing oh that was a pretty lucky uh, bit of swinging we didn't find oh shoot <sighs> almost fell off there uh, we didn't find the last piece of cake unless it's down here It's probably under the water somewhere. Oh, we'll beat the level. We'll go back in and see if we can find it. The photo mode has a canvas print. Oh, that's pretty neat. Wait, yeah, Cyberpunk has like a bunch of uh, different fil filters for... Uh, photo mode too. Pretty neat. Right, that's fine. I'm going back in here though. I want to see. Good thing is you can go back in and get this cake and just leave. You don't even have to like rebeat the level or anything. So we can just kind of freely explore and see if we can find it. So it's probably going to be underwater somewhere. Look at that crab. I'm just going to go. Return to turf area? Oh shoot, you can only go a certain amount out. So maybe it isn't going to be. See kind of where the boundary is. I already looked under over water over there. Hmm. I don't think it's hidden anywhere around here.
the cake is a lie. <laughs> that weird side jump again. See that thing? It's kind of tricky to pull off with a 2D character. But it reminds me of the Mario jump, especially the one from Sunshine, the side jump that works so well. Here it's, it's not really necessary to use it in this game, but... Let's see where this cake is. That, there was one up there. Are we really gonna do this again? I don't want to do this again. Just leaving that. I need to do that in order to create the bridge, though. They're getting themselves killed by walking into this thing. Come on. <laughs> they just walk into the spikes if I stand here. All right. Maybe the cake would be like over there. It could be on that island right there on top of that tree, maybe. I don't uh, Highly unlikely, but if we can even platform on top of these trees. Not really, huh? Kind of slip right off of these. Tough to get up there. Yeah, I can't really get up there. And I don't see cake up there anyways. Hmm. I wanna like dive down there, maybe it's you know what, I'm gonna put flag down right here. I've only played, I played Portal 2. I don't remember that line though from the Portal games, that reference I should say. I played Portal 2 like a long time ago with my brother. We like co-opted it, it was so good. This is like 2000, like 12 or something. I don't even. Huh, where do we think this cake is gonna be? I found one up there. Can only swim out like where that where you can like really kind of see sand still. It could be underwater right here. I'm just gonna check like this area here. I can't really go out much further, so nope, not here. The cakes usually aren't too tricky to find either. They're in spots if you just go like a little bit off course, but this one, maybe they're gonna start getting really, really stingy with where they put them. up here. Now let's go. Let's see if it's somewhere else. Maybe it's like over here or something. Is a line is a classic line from that. <laughs> is it more so from the first portal? 
Maybe it was referenced from that one. Anything in the barrels? Uh, no. Yeah, you can't even break them open. You might be able to pull on them a little bit with the grapple hook, but you can't, like, break them open. So... Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's down here. I was looking around this, it's like hiding behind. Because there weren't any other paths over here. This is going to be tough to pull off. I hate going through these things. There we go. Nothing. Get up there. Come on, beebs. And this takes us up. So, uh, from what I can see, it's got to be somewhere from here to the end of the level. Because I don't see anywhere else from before. I did look around the pirate ship, but not like too long. So maybe it is around here somewhere. It makes sense to be over here. Oh shoot, we got to do this again? It looks like maybe I can get- oh, it looks like I can get up there. Hang on, maybe there's like some tricky platforming I can do. Hmm. Can't get high enough. Again, you can only wall jump off a single jump and then do that. So maybe we can do... Oh, I can't quite make that. Trying to get places I shouldn't even be. <laughs> Deja vu, yeah, got it. Looks like same spot from God of War. Freaking man, that game. You were definitely high enough last night. <laughs> Higher than Beebs could ever get in this game. There it is. I, I see the cake. It's it's right there. It's literally right there. So that's where we gotta go. It's just a matter of how we get up there. You know what? This takes us up there, doesn't it? So we can go. Here we go. We just go like this. Aha! Nice. Okay. Go back to the hub. <laughs> That's pretty high. No, 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 no. So I should show that we have the three pieces. Yeah. I like that. You can go back in. Wait, I thought they built the bridge to the other levels. What's going on? Oh, it's these. Alright, then I want you to get here. It's going to be set up like the other world where you can kind of just... 
go to whichever level you want first. Title climb. Let's go there first. That sounds like it's gonna be hard. Oh, there was a piece of cake in that pipe. I saw it. They thought they were sneaky and could hide it from me. So we gotta find that pipe and get in there. Well, this level looks very open. See these boxes and barrels you can just like tug. Not much use for it unless you're gonna use it as a platform or something. Or whack an enemy with it. Where was that pipe that had the cake in it? It was that one up there. Whoa. Bumper. What's with all the bumpers around? And random platforming playgrounds. Now let's look for... cake or anything around here. See, this looks like a good spot that they would put some, but... Oh wow, look at this! Oh, <laughs> alright, uh... Uh, dude, oh, that raised the water. Okay, cool. We have a treasure chest here, too. I don't even know. What do we do with this? Nothing? Okay. It means there's probably it could be a piece of cake underwater, but we should be able to get closer to the other one. This is probably what we're supposed to do, though, to progress the levels. Pull the water up. This might is gonna make it harder to explore though these underwater areas, I think. Probably go in there. Nope, I thought that was a door. This game looks sick. Uh, you're getting Water Temple vibes. Hey, Star June. Uh, yeah, this game's great. Really great. 3D platformer for the uh, for Series X we're playing. Beautiful looking game. And yeah, with the water levels raising, we could say it's the water temple. Just not as confusing. <laughs> but yeah, it's a really nice looking game. A lot of uh, a lot of different things in your move set to use. Some combat. Some light puzzle solving. Definitely collectibles. You get lots of platforming. Tons of platforming. And um Lots of really tough bonus levels too, if you like. This is one of the main levels. There's, I guess there's a couple different worlds and they're all themed after something. The first one was like a desert area. Really dry and red and uh, like sand blowing everywhere. Now we're in like a beachy area, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, 2D sprites on a 3D. 3D levels. Plays just like a 3D platformer, obviously. And yes, I have a crow on my head named Russell Crow. Ok, 
Go in the water. There we go. That opens this. Okay. Oh, we get the water up even higher. I feel like I'm missing a piece of cake though down here. Like... I know there's one in that pipe right up there. But there's gotta be one down here. Because there's three. I just wanna, before I pull that, I wanna go see. Let's take another look down below. I, mean, I didn't see one, but I feel like there should be one down here somewhere. Hey, look, this was meant for me to platform on, but I raised the water. cake to be found here. Hmm. What is this? Oh no, Superman 64 rings? wins <laughs> if I ever get Superman 64 that's the treasure chest there's the cake but if I ever get Superman 64 and I ever decide that I want to beat the game gosh guys I'm gonna need to do shots during those streams because there's no way it'd be pain and suffering and I said, I have played the game before, but I don't think I ever got by the first set of rings. <laughs> I was young when I was young. Alright, let's get this going. I'd have to be in a really sick mood to want to play Superman 64. And now we should be able to get... There is a piece of cake in that pipe there, so that's what I'm... So let's see if there's another one around. This level's really neat, like it's a, just an open area. Free to explore, platform around, I love it. I don't even really need a checkpoint here yet, but maybe I should put one down just in case I die. So I'll have to swim all the way back up. Hang on. What is this thing for? Some of these platforms like floated up from the bottom. I don't even need them, I don't think. Uh, let's go over here. Probably be at least one more switch. There we go. Oh shoot, look at this. One by one here, take our time, otherwise I will die. back music too for this game. Oh look at this crap here. <sighs> oh 
Ooh, wow. Alright, here we go. Just looking to see if I see the cake anywhere. Now let's pull this up so we don't gotta go through any more of that again. I'll raise it up. You raise me up. Looks like, but where's the pipe that has the cake that we want? We gotta be close to it. Are we below it now? There's an open pipe that had cake in it. Did they close it? That's right there. Why is it closed now? Did I need to get it before? Maybe the next switch will open that one up. Shoot, I can't even stay. <laughs> this box is not settling down at all. Let me see. I want to get up there. We have to go through that. Alright, here we go. Well, okay. Oh, now we have this. Oh, oh my gosh. Get up there. Enemies, follow me over here. Look at them over here. Come get me. Come get me. Come on. There you go. Walk right into the spikes. Good. Good job. Come on. Oh, wow. He's really trying to push me off there. There we go. ourselves another switch but I need that cake it's the end of the level over there okay so the cake pieces there's still two more These pipes close after you, till the water reaches them. So we have to get that cake earlier in the level. Dang. Let's go see if we can find another piece. There's two pieces missing. I wonder if the cake can even be underwater at all. And look how dark it is down here. Now we're in the deep sea. We're in the Mariana Trench. Oh, this is actually kind of creepy. <laughs> deep sea always kind of freaks me out in any kind of context. But it's also, like, beautiful. Oh, man, it's 
It's so dark. I've like looked around here, I didn't see cake earlier. The only one I know of is in that pipe that's locked now. I have to come back to this level later and see if we can find the uh, the other pieces of cake or how to get them. But there's still one that I don't even know where it is. There's the one we want in there. Is there like no other way in this pipe? What did I just do? I just counted that. I just counted that that cake grab. I could get it from underneath the pipe. That's crazy. I was like, what is that shadow right there? That was the cake inside there. It let me take it. That's funny. I just need one more. So here's the end. Could be behind here. Nope. There's two arenas. Uh, I don't think we've been over here. Have we? Maybe it's over here. Oh yeah, because look, there's a treasure. Okay, if we do this, we get the cake. Good thing we got a save point right there. I think this has been one of my favorite levels so far. Definitely like this theme more than the desert one. The desert one was alright, but... This is a much cooler theme. Gotta get them to run into the spikes themselves or kill... There we go. This cake is not a lie. Excellent. All right. On to the next world. Pick the next level, let's see what we have for options. Come up there, so here's gonna be one over here. I guess we'll see it. This is Port Manto. You know what this game reminds me of, even though I've never played it? Um, just because I feel like it, the game would have similar vibes as Jet Grind Radio, right? I really need to get that game someday and play that on the Dreamcast. But I feel like that game would have similar vibes to this. It says danger, I think there's going to be a shark here. 
Maybe it's uh, Snackers from uh, Banjo Kazooie. Can we find this music makes really good background music? Jumped right into that. Alright, cake, cake, cake. I want cake. Let's put a flag down here. See what's up here. Aha! There's one. Looks like there might be a snow area too, because there was one of those in the museum area of the game. Looks like there was like a snow. I guess there was a snowman in one of. Them. Oh shoot! I don't know. One of the sections. Look at this. Can I make it up? Oh shoot! supposed to be down here. I can't even, uh, I can't jump off those. I'm scared of whatever might be in this water. Does a shark actually come? Oh no, return to the surface. <sighs> okay, yeah, we can't go down there. Nothing to find under there, I guess. What, what game did they release on the 64 library? Banjo-Kazooie, right? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, I think a lot of people have been mentioning that. Which is cool, because we're just about done with our playthrough of it on the 64. It's funny. It was like being released at the same time. I still gotta get like five or six more jiggies and then we can unlock like the uh the final boss fight. I like forgot how much you needed to do in that game to get through it. It's been so long since I got that far in the game. Past like the dumb quiz show. So we got one cake, that's probably all it's gonna be over there. We have another more rings. Platforming skills. Okay, what does that get us? Oh, it unlocks. Uh, okay, so you have to do that to unlock those over there. Let's 
Let's see if there's cake though. Yeah, Banjo Kazooie is such a such a great game. I know like Mario 64 pioneered the 3D platformer, but Banjo Kazooie was right up there with that. I mean, pioneering things. People use things from Banjo Kazooie all the time still. Like, it's hard to play a 3D platformer and not mention either one of those games, isn't it? At least for me, who loves those games. But Mario Odyssey, I think, was really, really good. Like, that was probably the best. I don't know, that's one of the better 3D platformers I've played. Definitely better than Mario 64, I think, but the nostalgia factor of Mario 64. Uh, Mario Sunshine could still be my favorite one, though, of the 3D ones for Mario. There's a dead end. So I wonder if they're gonna like hide things like behind some of these. Like maybe there's cake in here or something. I don't even know. This game's super impressive too. Like I'm, like I said I hope that this game gets more, uh, a little more attention. So I like. When I started streaming this tonight, I saw that nobody was streaming this currently. Kind of sad because it's a, you know, it's a new game and it's good to show. A lot of people are turned off to to stream, you know, smaller games or stuff that. Maybe nobody's heard of because, you know, maybe it won't get them the views or people. Um, only want to watch them play a certain game. Oh, which I could never do. What is this? Talk to the real Captain Damp. Surprised there's no cake down there. I didn't see anything. This level's really cool too. Again, very chill. You can see there's like almost no enemies here. It's all about platforming and exploration. Keeping an eye out for those, those pieces of cake. over here like what if it was hiding in a bush I suppose it could be hiding in a bush look you can walk right through them are they gonna get that sneaky with it I would have if I was developing this game it allows you to walk through the bushes like that I totally would have hid a collectible in there <laughs> just to be a jerk maybe we can see it through one of the bushes if I have a hard time finding these, maybe I might have to go back and check all the bushes. I'm supposed to go up there. I think there might be another piece of cake on top of that building. Looks of it. Shoot.
Right. Oh yeah, yeah. There's one on top of that roof over there. So maybe there's another one out here. Looks like we gotta get on the trees. Exactly, GDP. Yeah, exactly. Play the games you want. That's what I tell people too. I'm like, play the games you want. Like people, I said, some people get, you know, stuck playing a certain type of game, or like, you know, you know, if you're not feeling that type of game that day, then don't, you know, you don't play it. Play what you want. It's always good to have variety. But you know, I get it because some people are big because of games like Fortnite. So like, they have to stream that. Otherwise, their viewership will drop. But you know, I'd still think. You know, if big streamers stream different games, they would still get viewers. If the fans like the person playing the game, it shouldn't matter what game they're playing, right? Like me, I watch streamers like GDP. I don't care what you play, man. I enjoy watching your streams. It's about the person who's doing the stream. Play what you want and have fun. I love seeing all types of, types of games. That's what I try and bring here. So like I, I said I would go mad streaming. Just one type of game. Like as much as I love 3D platformers, like would I stream nothing but these? No, because uh, some days I just don't want to play 3D platformers. It is a miserable existence, money. I know because it's like you're stuck doing that. Like I, that's why I always wonder, like if some of those big streamers actually enjoy what they stream or not. Or if they're just doing it because they know it's a paycheck, they know people are going to watch. I hope that they like what they're doing, but you never know. And we need keys, so they're probably all going to be in this water, huh? Oh shoot, this thing's going to kick my ass. Six more keys. I keep keep streaming what you want to stream. Enjoy, unless you just want to be. You know, maybe some people do just want to stream certain things, and you know that's fine. I just I don't think I could ever do that, but I just hope that they actually enjoy doing nothing but that game or that genre or whatever. Oh, those things almost killed me. I need one more. Oh. Hey, you know, if they're making lots of money doing that, you know, more, <laughs> more power to them if they're enjoying it too. It's, you know, it's the thing. Can you do it what you enjoy and make money doing it? Enough money anyways. Let's, let's put a check flag here in case we want to come back. Hopefully the other piece of cake is over here in one of these areas. I gotta get the one key, the one ring, and uh, just floating around. Actually, looking for the cake right now. Just gonna wait right here. <laughs> Thank you chase you all around. I saw your pattern already. Alright. Right, maybe we can go under the water here. Just 
go under under. Uh, it's gonna let me explore. Okay, so it, let's see where this cake is. It's somewhere on this ship, maybe. There it is. Alright, now we just gotta finish the stage. This was a really chill level. This was cool. Man. Not stressful, just like chill platforming, exploration. Love it. Absolutely love it. Right on to the next one. These are more memorable levels than the desert world too. Sewer factory, okay. Listen to the sound when you're in here. Sewer surfing. One of the most frustrating 3D platformers is Castlevania for N64. But don't you like that game, or do you not like that one? I actually really want to try that one. I just, anything on the N64, I fancy. No matter how bad it is. Oof, this is, looks like toxic water or something. Probably don't want to go in there. Like we might be. Spin to reduce poison. I don't know if I'm going under or not. Looks like I am. Back up there. How do I get back up there? Shoot. There could be like cake down here too. I don't know how long this poison takes to kill me. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Platforming's terrible. There are two of the N64. Yeah, yeah, the other one. Is the other one better? Is Judgment better? Or is it the same kind of shit? I said I have a few more games that are high on my N64 list that I want. One being No Mercy, because I really, really want to play that game again. I never owned it. Um, 
loved playing it with my friend when we, when I was young. And then, uh, uh, Mega Man 64 as well. Nothing like poison sewage. Oh yeah, the best kind. Did I come up this way? I guess I came up this way. See if there's cake up on one of those pipes or something. Hey look, it's a Mario pipe. Right up there. One has a playable werewolf. Oh cool. That is good. Hey yeah, man, so many games, so many games. Oh no, I might be stuck here. <laughs> I got myself stuck. Oh, wait, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Raising, raising. <laughs> Keep spinning. <laughs> higher and higher. Oh no, we're done. We're done now. Shoot. If I could like get into a to a wall jump, I'd be fine. We're supposed to get more abilities too throughout this game. Well the poison's gonna kill me. Oh well. That's good because I actually kinda wanted to explore a little bit more out here. So that's almost a good thing. Time to power for the dungeon for you? Oh, very nice, dude. Very nice. Anything particular tonight that you're gonna work on, but are you just gonna... Oh, shoot. I can't even get up there anyways. Pulling around, let's go down here. Oh shoot. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Whew, that was close. poison here. Alright, nice, nice. You get uh, you got your switch games to work on right now still, right? It's like a poison shower. Found any cakes yet? Looking if they're like up on like some of these pipes or not. Oh come on! What? What sucks about that is that the camera angle changes and like you can't adjust it, and that thing can still hurt you. After you hit the switch, it was like a... I don't know, that was weird. I don't think I can get up there, can I? Can I jump on this person's head? Could you imagine if I could get up there from here? I'm not supposed to, I don't think. Oh, come on. Hang on, I think I might be able to do that.
I time it right. Go somewhere the level doesn't want me to go yet. It's so hard to land on this thing though. She slides right off. Alright, there we go. I don't know if this is going to work, but... Oh, I did it! <laughs> Alright. Where are we going now? Oh no! Looks like there's something over there. A crack in the wall. I'm gonna go over there. If I can, I don't know that I can. So like maybe there'd be cake like up there. I can probably get through over here. Was I supposed to go the other? This is probably the way I'm supposed to go. Might have just done like a. I don't even know if that was like a level skip or something. I don't know. I don't know where I am now. The things are trying to kill me. The spin jump, the side jump came in handy there. Oh, thanks, dude. Thanks, Darth, man. Take care. Appreciate you coming in, as always, man. Enjoy your gaming. Always good to catch you here. Where I'm supposed to go in this level. This level is very like all over the place. Like there's just different little sections and I can't find any of the cake pieces. What's even the right direction to go? levels to find all the cake pieces so this is oh now we're on this side over here dang okay Don't kill me. They just put poison on me. I can see the cakes above, like on one of these walls. Maybe it's up there. Oh, 
Oh, these ones seek me out. All right. Let's put a. Oh my gosh! Wow. Just want to put a flag down. There we go. What's up there? Oh, I can't quite get up there. Not with these damn things shooting me either. I'm going all over the place. Still no cakes have been... have been found here. Guess we're going down here. Oh, there's one over there, finally. Let's take care of this first. Poison off. There we go. Opens that door over there. At least we know we're kind of like on the right path, I guess. <laughs> Let's get this cake up there. This will have a one. Dive again. I wonder if they would hide one down here. Watch well, this be an area we've already been to. deep does this go? Uh, not deep at all. There's nothing but poison here. Cake over there. GDP dropping a few emotes before he goes and plays. And hopefully has a really good stream and enjoys your game and your gaming, I should say. This is the end of the level. Holy crap. Okay, well, I'll just beat it so we have a beat because I might not even be able to find this again. Gonna go back and see if I can find the cake pieces. Like. Missed two of them. If not, you know, whatever, we'll go to another level, but I'm just gonna take a quick another look in there. So there's like sections I think I didn't even get to. down. I mean, we already looked over there. We've been both sides there. Let's go back down here. Progress normally. 
just going to take a peek underneath. No cake, huh? No. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. To the surface. So back in here, I didn't see any cake in here. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, still need a cake. Here we go. Up here. I think there'd be one up on one of these pipes, but... We've been here before too. Oh, we died here. That's right. This part was like dumb because it like killed us. Okay, that opens up. And what did that open up exactly? This. Okay, so we haven't been through here yet. Let me just make sure that there's no cake in here. Yeah, isn't that a great kind of cake? Forget red velvet. Gotta get that sewage soaked cake sponge. Oh man, I can't see. Here we go. How the heck am I gonna get through here alive? There's got to be something down there. Right, I'm going to go back down there. I feel like there were like branching paths over here. Or maybe not. Hmm. We've been here too. There's gotta be cake somewhere in the in the water. Because we came from this way. Yeah, we went like the opposite direction last time. Over there, we've been over there too. Maybe I should go back over that direction. This is when you're supposed to get on these platforms. What is the point of this actually? Besides maybe going like right here. I think maybe just to whatever this is. That's just a fast travel area. Hmm. Maybe there's something else under here.
Aha, here's another piece. There we go. Wow, they're really putting them out of the way, huh? Alright, we got another one. One more to find. Doesn't seem like they're going to put him in the water, so Maybe we can kind of rule that out. Just a random ladder here. If you want to get back out this way. Oh. Make this jump. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's put a flag down here. We'll have to try and get back up here if we die. Alright, one more piece of cake. Hopefully, it is this direction. We know this large room coming up past all this platforming is. I was just looking to see if there's anything on top of these pillars there. Nope. I don't think so. What I'm going to try and do? Oh, shoot. I'm going to try and die here. Now I'm in the middle of nowhere. Oh yeah, I'm dead here. No way I'm getting back up. noises <laughs> they're not suggestive at all right now come on oh my gosh up there I'm like desperate to try I could just die and get my checkpoint Maybe the logical thing to do here yeah we'll just we'll just die here so you know what? I'm gonna go see how far out like this lets me go Go around like this side. Oh, uh, that's kind of where I want to get, actually. Knows where we are now. What the heck? There's a pot. There's a guy out here. You're not, you're not supposed to be here. That's funny. And it's like the game knows if you get out here. It's like why? Why are you out here? Oh, 
Can we get up on that? Oh, probably not since we just slide off these. Huh? can't quite get up there if there's a little bit more height on her flip jump her side flip I'd be able to do it ooh that's a really tricky maneuver here so we gotta go boom like that I can, uh, nope. <sighs> I was trying. It almost makes it look like you can get up over there. Uh, so we kill so we can get back actually if I just do this go to our flag in the name of cake this all is There is where I want to get. Oh, that was close. I think I'll put another flag down right by there and see if I can do it. I mean, there's no way the cake's going to be up there. I just want to see if I can get up there. That'd be like too ridiculously out of the way. Oh, come on. Put it down. Okay. All right, can we do this? Oh, yes, we can. All right. Now we really broke it. Or <laughs> we're on top of the level now. But there's that little break in the railing that's inviting you. You're like up here, you know? It's almost like they want you, they're like daring you to try and get up here. So I wonder if the last piece of cake is up here somewhere. They dared me. And I obliged.
The fact that it even lets me be up here, even though we're not really supposed to be. It's kind of funny. Most games you would just like glitch out, it would start you over maybe. Or the game would freak out, wouldn't know what to do. It's just like letting me like... Explore this area. Look, there's uh... Seagulls. Look at this. Well, I don't see the cake up here, but... Can I get up even higher? Nope. Won't let me go up there. I can put a checkpoint down up here. That's also pretty funny. No, I don't see any cake. I was desperate that maybe they would expect you to get up here, but no. Yeah, they don't. Not, you're not supposed to be up here. Oh, it's starting to glitch a bit. Okay. Because, see, we had a piece of cake. Like in here. Oh, I gotta do this again, really? Oh, maybe it's somewhere else further on here, but I don't think there was too much after this part though. I might not find this piece of cake here. Unless it is underwater here. They want you to do that jump there. Oh, shoot. Hmm. Alright, well, I surrender to this level. I don't know where this last piece of cake is. Spent a lot of time there, probably more than any other level.
What do we got here? Calm Bay, alright. Collect uh, keys, collect three keys. That's the level challenge, right? This is another chill level, maybe like... Different islands to explore. Um... We gotta find keys and cake. We know where the cutoff line is there. Again, I don't know if they're gonna hide anything under here, but. So let's go to this island. Oh, here we go. What'd that do? I wish I knew what that did. It opened this oh it opened this door over here. A key. Thank you, thank you. I want cake, man. The cake's getting harder and harder to find. In this game. Uh, key there, there's a couple more islands that way. That's probably towards the end of the level over there. We gotta get these guys on the switches, huh? Oh, there we go. All I needed was one on there. There's two keys. This is pretty calm level, huh? Calm, sure. Another chill level. up on that building. I have no idea what that did. Oh, apparently gave me cake somewhere because there's a cake. 
Where to put it? Over there? I don't know if this is what it was talking about. Go see. Oh yeah. Mmm, there we go. Good. Alright. Let's go back. This guy's on fire or something? Every day I pour my shell into baking this delicious cake. <laughs> and every day, sorry, this just gets me so mad. Every day, these hooligan kids grab it from the counter and eat it. So this time I hit it high up in the sky. No one will be able to steal it from me. Unless they find the hidden lever. Oh, that's the one I was just talking about. <laughs> so I guess uh, the NPCs, maybe I should talk to them more in levels. Maybe they give you more clues as to where the cakes really are. Kind of funny, he had like a whole story to go with that. Alright. Let's go to this other island over here. Well, there's... There's also something over here, like what is this? I'm gonna go over there. this all about? Hello bird people. What the heck? <laughs> what is the point of this area? supposed to happen here? <laughs> that was a smart idea. I don't know if there's anything over here or not. These, wa these levels are cool, these water ones. Beach one's not as good as Mario Sunshine's uh, beach level. My goodness. The uh, the beach kingdom. Oof. I literally, like, I, I smile when I think about that level. Like how cool it really was. How much fun I had playing in that level. It kind of rivals Treasure Trove Cove in a way for me. After like excellent beach levels and platformers. Give me that last key. That just unlocks that, but not a key, huh? in any of these trees. Nope. Again, man, these cakes are like nowhere to be found a lot. Hang on.
There's where the last key is going to be. There's cake over here. And then the end of the level is over there. Let's put a flag down here so we can always just jet over here. As we'll get this key. I guess. Oh no, we gotta get the little guys in there. Oh shoot. Oh, you know, this one too. I think I need to pull more of these off. Come on. There we go. Oh, that was a nice shot. It was like air hockey. The thing booked it over there. Oh, we have another bot in the chat. Let me just... Ban this bot. Get out of here, bot. That's going to help us get to the end of the level. Oh wait, I think there's cake up there floating. Is there? Oh, there was. Hang on. Let me go back to the flag. I think I see what I gotta do. Yeah, right here, there's this path. I think I see the cake. Oh yeah. Sweet. There we go. Now we've beaten it. Sweet. All right. That was a cool level too. I still like that other one better. I think the one that had like. Or like the little villages that you would kind of just platform around on. That was a pretty chill level. Right, how many levels are left here? There's the boss. Oh look, <laughs> Captain Damp. Shrimps, prove yourself worthy. All right, five of seven. So yeah, there's two more levels to complete here. Wants me to get up here for some reason. What levels do we still got? Oh, there's like a volcano level over there, and then. We did the title climb. So what else is there? Combe. Did we do that one up there? 
think we did. The volcano one's probably gonna be pretty hard, huh? Oh yeah, this is the sewer factory that we still don't have all the cakes in. Hmm. Welcome back, Ghost. About to exit out of the ad, that ad. Oh. <laughs> How long was the ad? 15 seconds, hopefully. That's it. Wait, this is a level we haven't been to. Leaping Falls. Okay, let's do this one. We'll go that volcano one. It was a rap ad? What? For what though? What was it advertising? What's being advertised on my Twitch? <laughs> I wish I could pick the ads that I want. Like stuff that I actually like care about or use. That would be kind of cool. Be like Pizza Hut, Count Chocula ads. Some of those old school toy ads for like action figures and shit. Yeah. There's a door there. this all about? Oh, we got to score a goal? <sighs> okay. A little soccer action, I see. There we go. Twenty-five seconds. Some ragu ad. Ragu. <laughs> Boy, there's a ragu ad for the sauce. Oh my gosh, that's funny. And they were wrapping in it. Even better. I mean, some ragu sauces I actually like. Like when I'm making pasta. It's not the best, but you know, it's it's. Definitely something that's not too bad. Another pirate ship over here. Yeah, it's right. Get in there. There's cake. Guide voice on Spectrum? What does that do? What the heck is that? What? How'd that not count as a kill? Right in there, there we go. Alright, so we need to like, yeah, we're like putting the level together essentially with these. Before we can climb up there. Let's see what else, there's gotta be a third ship somewhere. Exploration. Narration voice? <gasps> Jesse. She has done the hydration of water. She's home. A 
where we went. Hmm. And reads out everything? What? Well, I mean, that's kind of interesting. I've never tried that on anything on TV. Uh, programs before. Or, so, you know, if you're using it, as you I assume he's using a TV, not on the internet, unless maybe you can do it on the internet. I mean, it's a good feature to have, I guess, but it's kind of weird to he's just using it. He turned it on and didn't know it. Oh, he probably is not to turn it off. Go up there. So now, so need one more piece of cake. Oh, I need one more piece of this platform puzzle. He's in here. Here we go. These little guys chasing me. There's six. Seven. <laughs> All right. Hopefully the last piece of cake is somewhere along this section here. Oh, this thing disappears as we're going. Oh my gosh. What? It like stopped changing. That's lame. hovering right over it and it just wouldn't change. Is it every time I jump? Oh, it is every time I jump. Okay, I thought it was just... We've seen this before. That's tough. We've seen this kind of thing before in Mario, of course. Alright, now that I know that it's... So my spin doesn't count as my jump. Either regular jump or double jump. This is gonna be. So you have to double jump to these platforms. And this one, you just wanna do one single jump. And then a double jump. Gotta think about this. Another double jump. Single jump. There we go. Alright, so the last piece of cake is probably going to be around here. Let's put down a uh, flag. wins there we 
go. Oh, I gotta do it again? Oh, this one's got 24. It's a ring race. Oh shoot, this one's got the crazy blocks again. Wait, how the heck do I get up there? What? What happened? Did I go fast enough? <laughs> That's what happens. Oh, what the heck? I can't go in the water at all. Look at this. Game just freaks out. see I was like what am I looking at here like where am I supposed to go from there oh I did the wrong jump damn it gotta go back over there now Let me see if I can get across this water here. Oh yeah. Maybe the NPCs will tell me where the last piece of cake is. I feel like it's gonna be around here. Take me anywhere. Wait, this is where the ring race probably ends up going. But where is the cake? platforming up there that's where the first ring part was the cake's like up there at the end I suppose it could be she have another idea here oh shoot cannot get across this now oh no there we go. Make him wall jump my way up here. Uh, maybe not. Here we go. We're on top of the level now. And there's cake. 
There it is. This game was made for platformers like me. To just go do stupid things, get to areas you're not supposed to get to. But find like interesting ways, unique ways to get there. This is made just for, for players just like me. I love it. Things like that. Oh my gosh. See, that's so tough right there. Yeah, see, it takes some of the rings away if you don't... Miss that ring though. Can I go back? Oh, I can. Oh, that was slick. I probably have to go back and get the other rings though for some reason. Oh, but yeah, I have to go back. I have to do all this again. Maybe. Oh, shoot. Gonna run out of time now. So there we go. Yeah, it reset some of them after a bit. Yeah, it f failed me. Shoot. Ugh. All because of that dumb jump I tried to do. Oh, this one's hard. Oh, I shouldn't have jumped there. Come on. Uh. My gosh, we gotta do this to beat the level two. This is it. I had a good run going before and then I blew it. Having to do these sections over again suck. Alright, here we go. Don't hit those red marks, please. Alright, we gotta do it now. There, fly off of there! Oh my gosh. Ugh, why do I screw this part up so much? No. Oh, fudge. I'm just frustrated with myself now. I'm just like, how do I keep falling at the same part? And it's like the easiest part of it, too. I get through all this hard section and then. Blow it right there. Ooh. So mad at myself. I don't want to go through this part again. Because this part right here can be 
pretty hard. All right. All right, much better now, much better. Come on. No falling in the water. I don't know why I have such trouble with this part here. It's literally like the easiest part of it. There we go. I don't know what's ahead here. There. Whew. That was just some bad playing on my part. We got all the cake, now we just gotta finish the level. Keys, a collect zone. These are better than the uh, battle arenas by a long shot. Another neat level though. Not the battery, I have one more to get before we can get to the boss. Oof. Oh gosh. Doesn't want to stay now. Come on. There we go. Goodness me. I find that we're spending way more time. Dun, dun, dun. So much longer we play this game. Do we move to another game after this? Do we do Forza Horizon 5? I'm really looking forward to trying Scarlet Nexus though. Like I've been in such a... I've seen a little bit of gameplay from it and I just fell in love with what I saw. And uh, I've been wanting to try that for a long time. And I'm just really in the mood to start up an RPG. But we'll save that. I said for another another stream it's good we're made, making good progress in this game again and then so with halo Let's go back to forza two all right here's this volcano looking level A volcanic trio Hydration from Ghost Toast, thank you. Thank you. Ooh, I saw cake on that platform there. Is 
this chill beach music again. Of course, I'm looking for cake. The colors in this world are just awesome. So much better looking than the sand world. This game really is like really good. Like if I were to make a a list of like underrated 3D platformers or underappreciated ones, like this would have to be on there. Um, there we go. There's the cake. First piece of cake, piece of crumb cake. Oh, that was tight. There's a Buxton pear. All right. So I'm just gonna go into the water, I take it. See if we wanna see if there's anything else around here. Guess not. Drinking frostbite. Oh, nice. Definitely, definitely. Where Aladdin and Lion King is for 15 or 16 bucks. Oh, the uh, collection. Yeah, that's a good one. If uh, nobody has the retro consoles to play them, yeah, that definitely those games are great. I want to get Lion King still. I don't have that one, but I have played it. It's hard. I love Aladdin on Sega Genesis. It's just so good. I mean, last time when we streamed it, like, that's as far as I'd ever gotten in it. Oh, crap, look at this. This is kind of neat. <sighs> sure I don't overshoot any of this. I'll put a flag down once I get... Up here. Yeah, Aladdin's one of my favorite Genesis games I've played. I want to get Lion King. One of my like dream Genesis games is actually Primal Rage. Um, just because I remember seeing that as a kid and I just thought it was so cool, but I never I never owned it. I think someone I one person I knew had it. I played it a little bit, but I think I saw it in the arcade too. Views pretty amazing, right? I wonder if I can see Captain Damp's ship from here. <laughs> he doesn't know he doesn't know anything about sweating because he's cold blooded, that's funny. supposed to go here. Oh, I guess I'm just supposed to go up. I want to know if there's cake down there though. I bet you there might be. Oh no, probably not. I think I should have explored down there a little bit more. Yeah, Lion King, uh, yeah, it's a tough one. Aladdin's hard too. I still haven't been able to ever beat Aladdin. Uh, at least I think they're pretty tough. Fun games though. Whether you beat them or not, they're they're a good time to play. I might try Aladdin again on a stream if we do more. I mean, I'll do more Sega Genesis eventually. We'll try and maybe beat it. See if I can get further. It's very much a trial and error kind of thing. Okay, these are going to freaking sink. Making this certainly hard. And there's freaking fireballs coming my way. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. 
definitely putting uh, another one right here. Okay. Well, Alright, another section. Floating away. You gotta be kidding me with this. All right, we still need one more piece of cake. This level's awesome, though. This is like some really fun platforming here. As I fall to my death with a bad jump. Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. Uh, on Sega Genesis? or I know there was one of those on NES. I think. You know what game I want to try on Sega Genesis? is Tailspin. There's a Tailspin game on Sega Genesis. Another one. But definitely Primal Rage, uh, Castle of Illusion is probably one of the games I want the most on Genesis that I've never owned. Um, I think like Castlevania Bloodlines, which is like super expensive, but I keep getting stuck on this box. Gotta double jump up there. I should put another checkered flag down here. I feel like I should. Alright, here we go. Oh, wow. cake though. Oh wow. What if it's gonna be like up here? I think I should put another another checkpoint down right here. I don't have any more left. Oh shoot. Oh no. Super Nintendo. Oh there's one on Super Nintendo. So I assume it's probably on Genesis too. Oh, I see the cake. I see it all the way over there. At least we'll have the cake. Unless one of these guys knocks me off. Okay, we got the cake. We just gotta finish the level. And I died. Really? <laughs> gotta do this part again. We're not sent too far back and we got the cake. This section's not super tough. Luckily these hook grabs are pretty responsive when you're going through here. Other games I feel like you'd have to be a little bit more tight with how you're aiming it. Okay. This one's gonna be nice and easy here. Oh shoot, 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 shoot. No. Fudge, I messed it up. Damn it. <laughs> that shit. <laughs> Long fall of the bottom. Lion King, Chip and Dale, Toy Story on SNES. Before school. Oh, in the early in the morning. That's interesting. Yeah, not a lot of people I knew played games before school. I didn't really play games before school. I remember I always would play them afterwards. What 
But you know what's great about being an adult? I can play video games whenever I want now. <laughs> Yeah, this section's definitely pretty tough. You gotta really think about each jump that you're doing. There we go. Oh man, alright. Again, no checkered flags. I wasted them already. So I don't want to die here. Get in there. Combat zone. And this could have been the first level I played in this world. It ends up being the last one. I feel like this is like the hardest one too. all these things. Did I get them? Uh, I think I did. I'm gonna push them this way. That should get him in the lava. Oh, he's still alive. You're too excited to stay asleep, most of that's funny, yeah. I know, it's like... That's how I was on... Oh, shoot. If this thing kills me, and I have to go all the way back. That's how I was on, like, Christmas. I remember when I was young, uh, Christmas morning, I would always be, like, one of the first one, if not usually the first person awake. And I'd just be so excited, I would stay in my room. And I would, maybe, I would play video games I already had. You know, thinking, oh, maybe I'll get another new video game for Christmas or something. I just was so excited. I couldn't get back to sleep. I'd wake up, like, you know, I'm talking like 5 a.m., you know, hours before anybody else would get up. And sometimes I'd even wake up, like, one of my brothers. Be like, get up, get up. It's Christmas, you know. We got him. One more. Boom. Alright, now we can do the boss. So hopefully we knock out a whole nother world of this one. This game is just really good. Like, I'm very impressed with this one. Enjoying it thoroughly. Let's get on to Captain Damp. No way is that a uh, reference to Captain Crunch, right? Crunchy, damp. Wait, what is it? Oh, we're getting another ability. Do a wheelie. Alright, so... Hold LB? Alright. How do I do it? 
do it. Oh. Shoot, that's tough to control. Oh man. So just gotta turn earlier. Oh, it's all about turning with the camera. Oh man. That's gonna be tough if we have to use this in other levels. It's just, oh, it's so, the turning is very hard. see how they use it in levels. Exhaustion? Wait, did I get him? I don't know what I'm doing. Seems like he's trying to keep his back. That must. I don't. Yeah, I really don't know what's going on with this fight. Gosh, what? Oh wait, just hit him in the back. Oh, did I get him? He's so far behind him. He's so fast. Spin to shake off the poison. Oh yeah. And I died anyways. Did it give me a checkpoint though? Since we got past I think it did. So if you get to certain sections, you see the checkpoints are up on the top left where it shows you. Oh, oh, oh. My gosh. Got him. Gotta get his exhaustion down. Come on, Captain Damp. Oh, 
Shake that off. Shake it off. <laughs> Is that doing anything to him? I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Oh shoot. Crazy. Here I think we just have to survive. Man, if I fall. What? Oh shoot, we gotta do this again. Man, cause that one lava thing hit me, like I couldn't even, it's so hard to dodge that. Come on. There we go. Got to deflect those ones. The combat is so weird in this game. But it works for what it is, I guess. Definitely not, like I said, definitely not where the game shines. Okay, now he's gonna do his little... I gotta dodge those. If I have to, I'm just gonna jump over them. Oh shoot! Oh no! Another fudger. Ah, the controls with that. This part here is just like super tedious. So the boss fights so far aren't really the best. They're just like, I mean, they're all right, I guess. They're not like the obviously not the worst thing I've ever seen, but see the levels are are so much fun, and then the boss fights are have so far have just been kind of just more like annoying to figure out how to do it than anything else. So with this part here, like this is just Get him in there. I got so far the first time on this and then one of those things just hit me. 
It's so tough to stay on the track and dodge those with this. So I gotta watch for those shadows and for any. Alright, we did it. Alright. Alright, let's not die now. I think I might have got another checkpoint though. Like deflecting like the the projectiles is like kinda weird. Like it doesn't even seem like it's working when it does. Oh no. That kills me in one hit. At least we get the start here. They're generous enough to give you like uh checkpoints though throughout the boss, which is nice. And having to do the whole thing over again. That I will give them tons of credit for. We almost got him. Just don't fall off. Don't get hit by the lava. Wait, did that work? Oh, you can do that? Like jump on his eyes or something. Alright, we got him. Screw this up. There we go. So you say he was a little bit better than the first boss fight. Nice, nice. I'm about to get in. Can you believe it? I've been too turned. What the heck? What's wrong with you? Wait, but I. Do you have any idea of what you're doing? Any idea at all? Boss is furious. I told you I'd do it. I thought you were backing me up. I thought you were joking! <laughs> uh, or at the very least, I never imagined you could actually beat Frodo and Dan for real! Voice acting is great though, it's really good. It's very... captures like that cartoony feel. City. Um, or you could check out what's changed in Armada Gavin again now that you're the captain. And don't forget, each zone even has a new battery for you to grab. A swap between states back at my terminal. I, I always got your Thanks, Midgey. Hello, Midgey, our little friend, as always. So, yeah, there's more batteries, which um, means that, you know, there's more batteries to grab. So you can go through each level twice, it gives you. Replayability, and there's candy to grab too. You know what level I am gonna gonna go in again? Was it Port Manto? That was like the super chill one. It's not that one. Idle climb, that wasn't it either. I think it was Port Manta, right? That was like super. I think that's the level I really liked. Combay was kind of cool too. I think it was this one.
back in here because we're not going to start up another world tonight, I don't think. Oh, geez. Not quite the same level, is it? Stormy here now, too. Jeez. Jumping on. It's like ice or something. Sticky or whatever. It's completely different level. It turned them into like I guess many platforming sections. Some of the levels. Hey, we'll get some candy here. It's like jelly or something. Oh, they want me to have this. Let's put down a checkpoint too. and chill over here now. And this is really cool with this storm. Look at this. Kind of a neat idea that they kind of transform the levels a bit and then give you... I mean, it's kind of, that's kind of like a Crash Bandicoot thing, right? Because I think they did do that in Crash Bandicoot. Transform the levels... Switch somewhere. Or not. Oh, there is, yeah. This is where all these boxes were. Looks wicked cool, yeah, doesn't it? Lightning coming down, I love it. Come on. Come on. You just get up on these buildings, here we go. Yummy. All those lollipops. Pull up there. Uh, we gotta get up there again. Let me just see if there's any more lollipops around. 
Try and get all the candy here. Andy's room, Sid's room, Pizza Planet, and the Claw Machine exterior. Those were all levels in the games. Hot, 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 and Sid's room. <laughs> Did I want to get two Toy Story 2 uh, for Dreamcast? But it's uh, it's kind of kind of pricey, I think. I really heard that that's like an excellent game. There's a hook shot thing over there. Oops. One up this way. Collect zone. Collect seven keys. All gonna be in the fire there. Gimme, give gimme. Give Thirty-five of fifty. Okay, let's get these keys. See, this right here reminds me of Mario, like anything with lava. And I died, so I have to start all the way back here. Whoops. Whoops, I didn't mean to take that photo. <laughs> Getting used to changing. What? It disappeared! This, so I don't have to hit the switch again. No. Okay, here we go. You can't stay on those for long at all. Put another one down, I guess. A check, check your flag. These are very reminiscent of uh, Mario 2. Oh, I'm stuck. I can't even move here. All you can do is jump. That's how you move. Maybe I could use the wheel thing here. Shoot. Oh no, you can't. 
Only when we get on here, now we get a slide. Get the lollipops, please. Oh no, I'm gonna die, maybe? Oh, I pulled it out. Wow. Oh, these are tricky to... Oh, they tilt, I see. Oh, they tilt a lot. Just another section where I can't freaking jump. Oh, I can't move? Oh, I can move here. But it's very slippery. How did I miss candy? I missed three of them? Dang, where were they? Oh well, I'll get the extra battery and the candy, that's fine. I did a pretty good job of getting all the candy there, but apparently not. Alright, before we end, let me go, um... It's gonna end soon. How do I get out of this world? I'm fed up with this world. Let's get down there. There we go. Back to the hub world. Which we know we're going to have a new area unlocked. Is they said new Neo City. Look at that. Kunichiwa says, Did you try out any modes yet? Any mods yet? Some of them are pretty amazing, like an extra checkpoint flag. Oh, I completely forgot about those. See, there's a lot of things in this hub. Actually, I'm gonna go check that out. I don't remember what we need to unlock the mods. There's so much stuff here to see. Oops. So if we go here, I need, oh, cake. Movement moves. You can flutter your wings one more time in your double jump demon form. Nice. Definitely. We have so much cake. So all the cake we've been collecting is, uh, is so nice. You run faster, light as a feather. Let's see what we got. And these are the mods that you can equip. Oh, cool. So you got those. Oh, it tells you how many slots they take up, too. Right, uh, what else do we want? Enemies are less likely to detect you. Fourth checkpoint flag might be really good. Spin mods. Your spin now reflects projectiles. I'm gonna buy that one too. That seems pretty good. I'm gonna get this flag hoarder one too. And then we'll. That only takes up. That takes up four slots? Oh no. I thought we bought... There we go, we'll dig, maybe we can equip that one. There we go. Got a couple there. I got a trophy, oh yeah. So we got this new thing, it's like a shield. And now we should be able to 
triple jump now. Oh, it's gonna make movement so much better. So we could do that and do that. Hang on. A lot of jumping options now. Wait, how comes it doesn't work there? Oh, you have to go the same direction with it. You can't change directions with it. It's only if you're holding in one direction. Well, that's going to be kind of tricky. It's only for like really going like a longer straight distance. A little bit extra. But you can do that and then the spin. A little extra distance, okay. That's neat. Tastes a little bit like voltage on Mountain Dew voltage. Yeah, I just actually had voltage uh, yesterday because I saw it in the store and I was like, oh, I hadn't seen that in a while really. I don't see those other flavors too often. I don't even see Code Red at all anymore. It's kind of a shame. I love Code Red, but so I'm usually just drinking regular Mountain Dew if I'm going for Mountain Dew. We're on the top hat. Can we get to the top of the top hat? That's the other question. Oh yes we can with a little slick maneuvering. We've been over there anyways, but New Neo, see I bet you this, this next area might look really cool. If it's like Japanese inspired and has like bright colors. Oh man, yeah I bet you this is going to be a really cool level. I liked the, uh, the beach one though. Then the last one is Peak Plateau. They recently came out with Frostbite. Hmm. So it's a relatively new... New drink, I see. Uh, how do I change my hair, too? I want to change my hair color to get what we need for that. The shop. Yeah, here we go. Oh, candy. Okay, oh, we have 64. We needed one more. We could have changed our hair color. How about white? Silver is pretty cool. Dang, one more candy. <sighs> Alright, I guess when we come back to this game, we're going to be taking on New Neo City. Let's see if we can get through there. So, two worlds down, looks like two to go, then maybe a. Uh, a final boss area and again we'll do some bonus stages try some of those some more of those and collect more candy if we can we need 50 batteries oh shoot do we need every battery in the game crap we're gonna have to replay some of these levels to get in there I didn't realize that. Oh no. Um, yeah, when the, the levels transform, I think we gotta beat them again. To get all the batteries we need. Wow, so we got a lot of work to do. So maybe we'll just work on that in the next episode, trying to get some of those extra batteries from the first two worlds. Because we only have one extra battery.
Dang. Well then, back to our lair. The shark. Babes for Queen. Yeah, really, really cool game. So yeah, we got a lot more work to do on this game. This is actually a pretty long game. Um, a lot of content here. Excellent stuff. All right, so... And the levels are only going to be harder, I think, second time around. Jeez. Big challenges ahead in this game, I feel. Still to come. I think we're gonna. That's gonna end the stream tonight, guys. I do have to get up in the morning to go to work, sadly. But um, hope you all enjoyed tonight's stream. Hope you guys are enjoying these uh, these series on YouTube as well. Uh, these series X doing a lot of series X stuff right now, guys. I know, but uh, really trying to enjoy this new system, and I thoroughly am. It's already off to a banging start with Halo, this, and Forza. More stuff to come tomorrow if I'm around to stream. Or this weekend at all. I guess we'll try and do Scarlet Nexus some. Maybe try and finish God of War. Maybe, I'm sure, more Series X stuff. Maybe try and finish Banjo as well. Hey, that landed in there. What the heck? If it's still there, it is. Oh, very nice, very nice ghost. Enjoy that. Um, but yeah, that appreciate everybody. Thank you all for who came in and either lurked or chatted or you know all the support on YouTube and Twitch, guys. Really, really appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying everything that we do here. Have a great time with all this. Take care, yourself. Take care of yourselves. Be safe, okay? Enjoy your gaming. And until next time, zero is the number. Real, real fun stream tonight.